Men, like women, are relational beings. Since the beginning, humans depended upon one another for everything. Now, as, it impor as important as it is for a man to discover his personal identity, it's equally critical for him to understand how to relate to others in a way that is healthy for both himself and the others in his life. The sort of actualization of your personal life, your personal identity is found in your relationships, right? Personal life, relational life and the value you bring to your community. This is the beauty of humanity. A balance is found in developing the foundation within so that you may build a legacy that endures. Now, many surveys have been conducted of people who are near the end of their lives, the aged or with those with terminal illnesses. And when asked to consider what they contemplate as they look back on the lives, their lives, far too many are filled with regrets. Now, seemingly everyone has some sense of pride or joy when they ruminate on the life they've lived. But it is startling to know that many look back in sadness and their regrets are almost always about relationships. See, no one lies on their deathbed regretting they didn't get that big promotion. They usually regret that they got the promotion but lost a relationship along the way. They regret not having spent more time with those they loved. They feel as though they took so many relationships for granted. Yes, it is true that many regrets, many regret not having taken more risks, starting that dream business, writing that book, traveling the world. But many of those ambitions are actually relationally bound. The business and the book were to help others through sharing their stories or successes. The traveling of the world is, is best enjoyed with the company of those you love. Do not let that be you. We'll work on that. We'll take a good look at both types of relationships that we all have, blood and bonds. Your blood relationships are your family relationships, it includes all your family relationships, past, present, and future. Now look, your family relationships have impacted you, and they always will, for better or worse. But you cannot allow them to control you. You can, you can construct a plan and a vision for your family that will excite you, even if it means starting from scratch. For your non-family relationships, your bonds, you will learn to pause and consider your present sense of balance and craft a plan to move forward towards greater relational joy. We will consider the bonds of friendship, professional associations with others, and we'll take a good look at also at romantic relationships with women, as this is a core bond for many men. And I have important things to say that you need to hear about romantic relationships. Every one of your relationships begins with you. Now, there is such a thing as excessive relational focus. This is best referred to as an unhealthy dependence on others. Not necessarily codependence, which is when the other person in a relationship is playing a part of the dysfunction. Look, do we need others at times? Yes. Do we need to feel needed? Absolutely. But relational health is forged when a man works deliberately to create a net of relationships such that when he falls, as, and every man falls at times, there is a strong net there of all his relationships to catch him. He's not dependent upon any one person or small group. And yes, ultimately, even if every point or person on that net were to fail him, he has done the inner work on himself personally so that he will not be devastated. He will not perish. He has the fortitude to press on. But that should not be the default. Now with men, neglect of relationships is usually passive, not active. We don't intentionally neglect building or restoring relationships. We simply avoid putting in the work or try to avoid relational conflict. Someday we will work on our relationships, but some days never come. 
Look, as we work together, I trust that you will begin to see that you can craft a circle or net of relationships that leads you to feel confidently connected with others. You have many people around you who care and will serve as points on your net. And you will have the privilege of knowing that you have chosen to enter into the position of being a point in the lives of the nets of other people that you know. So let's lean into this process of building healthy relationships. I'm here to help.